Hello guys, it's JFM for the one here. Now, welcome to AC Unity. I've been playing this for about a couple of hours so far, but today I'm going to actually tell you if the game is good or not. Now, is it worth the money? I'm going to be telling you this now, and if it's the best one in the series out of all of the Assassin's Creed ever made. Now, in my opinion, I think this Assassin's Creed is my favourite because uh, everything about it, in my opinion, is just amazing. I like the cinematics, I like the free roam on it. I like the character because I do get, you see a lot better to connect, get connected to the character as uh, in the Assassin's Creed. The character wasn't that funny really, but in this Assassin's Creed he is kind of funny in a way. Because at the start he just, you know, have a bit, of, he, it's kind of funny like how he says things and he's like probably British, but he's not British in this, it's obviously French, but because it's a, uh, because we're British and if you're British, uh, it speaks in like English, doesn't it? So. Uh, as you can see now, this is a little side quest, what happens, these are pretty good to do, I mean, it keeps you doing things in the free roam, I mean, in other sense, crazy, the free roam was a bit bland, there was nothing even happening in the, yeah, free mode, it was kind of boring, uh, you couldn't even go inside of buildings, and as you can see over here, there's a building over here you can actually go inside of, so I'll look at it now, you can actually just walk inside a building, and I think that's a really cool aspect of the game. I mean, other sense, crazy, you couldn't do this, but in these assassins, crazy, you can, there's a lot of buildings you can actually enter. It's kind of cool in my opinion because I think this is really, really good how they've done this. And yeah, I think also the graphics in this game are really good. People um, like people say the FPS isn't great, but I'm not really bothered about that. I just think the game overall looks amazing. Like the graphics do look, I think, a look a lot better than Black Flags. And Black Flags was even on next gen. I still think this game looks a lot better than that. It's never lagged or anything like it. It runs pretty smoothly on the Xbox. It's only run like really crap at the start of the game. And I was becoming an assassin when you're drinking that. Basically, at the start of the game, when you become an assassin, you drink this like um, it's like a it's like an old style cup. What like uh, if you ever seen Indiana Jones uh, where he drinks out of the cup? I don't know which one it is, but it's one of them. But yeah, it's basically like one of them cups that he drinks out of it, and it kind of stored a bit there. But that was the only time it's ever lagged on this game. Now, um, basically, the story is probably so far my favorite at the moment. I mean, it's kind of cool how he started off as an old person. I'm not going to tell you any spoilers, but yeah, you start with this normal person, you became assassin, all that kind of stuff. I've actually played this game for about three hours, not that long. But yeah, the, as I say, uh, the free mode is really good. Uh, there's a lot of things to do in it, and uh, the buildings and that look pretty amazing, as you can see over there. I don't know what building that is, but I think that's the assassin building. On the ground, you can actually go into the assassin's lair. I don't know what it is, but it's like a little lair where you'll hold out. And yeah. Now, the cinematics, that is probably one of my favourite parts about this game. Uh, the cinematics are probably the best cinematics the game ever had because the, it looks like a film. I mean, when you watch it on a, a good on an Xbox One, I'm not sure what it's like on PS4, but I think it's probably got better graphics on the PS4. But when you watch cinematics, the graphics do look amazing. I gotta say that for sure. I mean, the graphics, in my opinion, on these cinematics are really nice, and uh, yeah, they are really HD. I mean, they should be really because it's an Xbox One and it's an next gen console, isn't it? So, yeah. Now, I'm going to be showing you the customization on this game. I mean, the customization on this game is really good. They've never had customization like where you can customize your characters, uh, like actual appearance. And the other ones, you can customize the color, and you could actually like change the. Uh, you could you could change the customization like slightly on some of them. Like you could get armor pieces, like uh, chest plates, leggings, like all that kind of stuff. But on this game, you can actually change the actual entire cloak and everything. So we're going to be showing you that bit now, guys. So go to character customization. So let's show you the gear loadout. So you can actually get loads of weapons, so one-handed weapons, all these weapons here. You get quite a lot, and you can actually unlock them through do missions and unique companions, I think that's the co-op. Also we have the long weapons, so like spears, all that kind of stuff, quite a lot. It's quite a lot of spears, so you can actually use spears in this game. And there's quite some, there's some cool ones as well. And heavy is like, the heaviest ones like pickaxes, all that kind of stuff, it's pretty cool, I've got to say that. Uh, yeah, so they're probably the two-handed ones, these. Also, the pistols, there's a few pistols in this game. I don't know how you use them yet, but uh, yeah, there's quite a few pistols in this game. As you can see, what the hell is that? It's crazy. Uh, there's also this one. Now, there's the rifles as well. You can actually get rifles in this game, but you need to get the perk, or whatever you want to call it. There's a few rifles in this game. I'll show you these. And yeah, now I'm going to be showing you the customizations of the equipment and the outfit. So you can change all your colors. You can get loads of wacky colors, like red. Like bright oranges and stuff like that. It's pretty cool looking. Now I'll show you the red now. Like really red. 
So uh, we'll show you the heads. As you can see, there's a lot of customization for the head. So this is why this this game, in my opinion, is probably my favorite. There's a lot of customizations. So uh, yeah, quite a bit of customization in this. Let me show you the chest plates and our chest. What I'm going to call it. Quite a few. You can get like actual armored chest plate, I'll show you that now, where is it? That, that's just, that's crazy. Uh, you get forearms, all like that kind of gear, you know what I'm on about. Uh, waist, so your chest, like your belt, quite a few on there. You get your legs. And you can also get the outfits from the other games, so you can get Altair's, uh, I don't know, oh yeah, Bellix, you have to get it for Secret 7. Shays, I think that's the... Uh, the outfit from the one on Xbox for 60. Uh, Ezio's, Edwards, Connor, uh, Thomas, that's the like unique one. Because at the start of the game you see this guy, it's basically Altair's and uh, Arno's master one. So there's quite a few outfits. You can also boost your guy, their boost, but the uh, i show you the actual skills now. So you get melee skills, all this kind of stuff, so you guys get to keep the bear fighting and stuff. Bear ranged. Best health and more health. So there's a lot of upgrades in this game, that's what I like about it. It's a bit of a challenge at least. So now I'll be showing you the actual map. The map is massive. As you can see, it's pretty big. I don't know if there's any other places. I think there might be other towns or cities, whatever you call it. Oh, yeah. So this is all I've seen so far the map. I think there is probably other like ta cities in uh, France. So I don't know literally how big this actual game is. So, um, yeah. So you might be wondering if this game is fun, I reckon it is probably my favourite, like I said, all the time, and it's really fun, I, re I think it's really fun. And also I like it how, on one of the missions you might have seen on the trailer where you're in like, Paris, occupied Paris when the Nazis took over back in the day, and uh, yeah, you can actually like do that on this game, and you find a massive turret, that's what I think is really cool about this game. You can actually go to Paris in like the 1800s, and obviously you can go into like the 900s when uh, the Nazis took over. And you got fire more, so that's when the Abstergo people come and look for you inside of the actual game. And uh, you got to escape and you go through like portals into different times of France, and that's really cool, I think. So, what I'm going to be doing, guys, is just doing a little mission and see how well it goes and see if you like the get game, guys. So, this video is basically just showing you how the game is if you like the game, and uh, you know, you might want to buy it. I think it's worth the money. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you a little mission now. This is where I think some woman, like our little like in. It's like where he lives, uh, you know, because you have always like a little hideout, but this is his own hideout. And this one wants me to do some missions with her so we can get more income to the place. So uh, I'm going to see how well we go. And uh, if you like the game, comment down below. If you don't like the game, just comment down below. I don't really care. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you hate the game, <laughs> you know, you hate the game. But I think this game is really good. So I'm going to be showing you this mission, what this uh, woman gave us. So uh, also, I'll be doing a video on GTA 5. Like in a, tomorrow or today, I'm not very sure, but I'm going to be doing a video on GTA 5, which is coming out again in three days for the Xbox One, which I'm getting. But that looks amazing. I've seen some pictures of it, and it looks really good. And obviously, if you're not a fan of GTA anymore, if you're not a fan of GTA anymore. I mean, some people will actually stop playing the game because it, the heist should have been out a long time ago, and I I got kind of pissed off about that. But I usually just go on it to play with mates and obviously make videos, the best missions and all that kind of stuff. But we're not going to be talking about GTA in this. I'm going to be doing a bit of Assassin's Creed for once, because the last Assassin's Creed video I did was a very long time ago. So, uh, we're going to be just doing a bit of Assassin's Creed for once. So, uh, yeah, and I might be doing Easter egg videos also. I mean, if I can find any Easter eggs, I will do Easter egg videos on this. But I'm not even sure if there is Easter eggs in this game. I mean, the game is massive, so there should be really, but, I mean, if there isn't, I don't know why there isn't. Let's kill this guy. Oh fuck. Run, 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 run. Yep, I've escaped the enemies. Finding keepers, alright. Loving them titties. This is what we get for 
taking in more orphans. What do we do? Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Now we need to kill this motherfucker. Oh, fuck's sake, I was gonna assassinate him. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Try the other, get the other innkeepers now. As I said before, you can actually go through buildings, and I think that's a really cool aspect of the game. Uh, how do I get through here? Oh, yeah, there's more stairs. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't even notice that. And I've been a fan of Sun's Creed since it's actually started, and I've bought every single one every single year. And it's probably one of my favourite series and GTA. So this is the reason I always buy it. Oh shit. Oh my god, I've just killed so many. Right. Was she gonna park her out of it? <laughs> That'd be so funny if she did. Fuck's sake, jump! That's all. That's the only thing I hate about this game is probably the free running, because it's kind of hard to jump off buildings. I mean, there probably is a way to do it, but I kind of get annoyed sometimes because I can't jump off the buildings. Let's kill these criminals. Fuck's sake! It's so annoying this. Off. Yeah, that you always get the heavy guys in all the Assassin's Creed, so that's basically the heavy guy. And this is the fighting. Fighting's pretty easy, in my opinion. I mean, it always has been in Assassin's Creed. Ah, you fucking bitch. Ow. Slice, break the neck. Alright guys, would you like to leave a like, drop a comment, and also subscribe for more of the content on my channel. I'll be uploading more Assassin's Creed. If you want me to upload more Assassin's Creed, make sure to leave a comment down below. And I love this support, so leave a like for this support. And uh, see you next video, guys. Peace out. <laughs>